Hey there, fellows. All right. We've long been trying to find the solution to a rather unusual problem. Namely, what can you slap onto an engine that would allow you to have a pressure washer with you anywhere you go? For you to be able to wash your car anywhere as long as you have a water supply. We've already done a video where we used an AC compressor pump for the purpose. It wasn't able to last long. I mean, it literally fell apart when we put too much stress on it. But now we want to try this sort of pump, which is a power steering pump. We can use it to make a pressure washer, right? I mean, yeah, you have blades in there. We all know how these sorts of pumps operate. But what sort of pressure can it generate if you were to put water through it? Well, I guess we'll find that out shortly. Now it's just a matter of finding a way to set all of it up. It's obviously going to be driven by a pulley and a belt of some description. Anyway, yeah, we install this, see what sort of pressure it can create. It's too bad that we probably won't be able to measure it, though. But in any case, our main objective is to see whether it's half-decent at pumping water. After that, we can attach some hoses and proceed to try washing a car, assuming it doesn't crap out immediately. Alright, let's make us a pressure washer based on a power steering pump. Wait, have you seen our new Freddy-style t-shirt? If not, hit the link in the description. If you're still here, you should know that aside from a new t-shirt, we offer a lot of other different merch, bearing the Garage 54 logo. Past payment issues have been solved, and now you can send payment for your order even via PayPal. So if you'd like to treat yourself, a friend or a relative to some awesome Garage 54 merch, hit the link in the description to head on over to our shop. And don't forget to use the promo code for a solid discount. Now back to the video. Pressure washing using a power steering pump, will it work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, here's where we're at with this. We were able to fit the power steering pump. We've got a belt on there, it's all good. And here we have the reservoir, which is a 20-liter water canister. There's a valve on the feed line. And we have a hose coming out from the high pressure end. Now we want to try this out as is before we connect the pressure washer. See if it even works in the first place. Fire it up. Okay, let's try this out. There we go. It's not getting any higher. But why? Because of the reduction valve, perhaps? Hmm, could be. Right, the valve. Where is it located? That must be it, right? Okay, let's start it one more time and do a bit of observation. Back off! Honestly, I don't understand what's going on. What matters is that you can really feel that the pressure... Nah. That'll make it pop off on this end. Okay, we don't want to do that. It makes the hose expand. That's actually quite a lot of pressure. Don't be afraid. Worst case scenario, you'll get a bit wet. That is a powerful stream. Look at that. This might even work. You can switch it off now. I don't get why the flow doesn't uh, increase with the revs. It turned out to be an easy fix. We've gone ahead and removed the pressure reduction valve. 
Inside of it, you have a spring, which is what adjusts the pressure. And we've placed a nut underneath it. That's going to keep it from bringing the pressure down too much. Okay, now let's see what came out of it. Let her rip. Now that's... Switch it off. Now that's more like it. We've gotten the pressure to increase as the revs build. And that is very nice. Check it out. We've got everything hooked up. We'll be using a compact spray gun. Our more attentive viewers might even recognize it as the one we used to paint a car a little while ago. We've decided to remove the nut from underneath the spring inside the reduction valve. And now let's try the pump in its stock form. Right, let her rip. Good thing I have a bit of adjustment. Wait, what the... Why did it start leaking from every seam? Okay, it looks like we won't be able to use it for this experiment. We fixed it. It's no longer leaking, it's all good. While we were at it, we've also decided to... Place that nut we removed back into the reduction valve in order to slightly increase the flow rate. It felt a bit underwhelming the first time around. Let me just do this. And this will be round two or three of the testing, I have already forgotten. Let's do this. Whoa, look at that. Not bad. We should try and bring the revs up. Let's see what happens when we do that. Oh, yeah, very nice. You can even tell by the sound that there is plenty of pressure. Certainly enough to wash a car. Well, swish it off. Okay, now we just need to find some dirty car. Okay, fellas, we were able to find a nice guinea pig. A buddy of ours had a really good time in this thing. He said the car needed to be washed anyway, so let's give him a hand with that. The dirt is clearly visible on the white paint. Right, let's clean it off using our makeshift pressure washer that you can take with you anywhere. Give it some gas. Oh, wait, the valve. I mean, yeah... It's not a wide stream by any means. Yo, why are you pussyfooting the throttle, dude? There we go. Now that's much better. What was that? What was that noise? How did so much dirt get in there? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Awesome. Hopefully we can make at least some progress. 
Oop, stop. The belt is slipping. It's on the verge of seizing. Okay, let's cool you off. So we just received some strongly worded advice from the pros. Apparently you're supposed to spray on a bit of shampoo first. I'm like, shouldn't I remove the dirt? They're like, no, spray it on dry. In order to prevent it from getting watered down and whatnot. Okay, well, if that's how you're meant to do it, then who might argue? I have got my magic can. We've gone ahead and drained pretty much all of the water from the canister. And now I'm pouring in this cleaning agent, which is already mixed up in the right proportion. Now, unfortunately, we do not have a dedicated foam applicator. So we're going to have to use this to spray it on. I'm going to try and make it so that it properly disperses the liquid. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and apply it. There we go. Very nice. Excellent. Make sure to cover all of that, as well as this area. So far this is working quite beautifully. What's up? We've run out, really? Wow, and I thought we had enough to do the entire car. No? Anyway, we'll allow whatever is left to drip out. Okay, have I appeased everyone who was upset that I didn't start with the cleaner? Now we'll pour in some water and finish the job. Now let's not forget to flush the canister to get rid of any leftover shampoo. Okay, once again we're running the thing on water. Let's do this. Now I'm not entirely sure... I mean, I guess the dirt is coming off better than before. The real problem is that the spray cone is a bit lacking in terms of its width. But hey, this is working. Switch it off. They're enjoying it. Hell, so was I. All right, so far so good, I've washed the car. Well, half of it anyway. Because we didn't want to be moving it back and forth. But this worked all right. And we were keeping the engine at about a thousand revs the whole time. What's keeping us from bringing them up? Well, are we going to try and test it to failure? Yeah, you think we should? These guys are ruthless. Won't stop until something's broken. Okay, start the car and let's see how long it lasts. Come on, give it some gas. We seem to have a problem. And that's a wrap. Wait, it ain't over yet. Did you even hear what I just said? It began to seize once we brought the revs up. That's disappointing. Bring the revs up, please. Nah, it's not having it. Nah, dude, you can switch it off now. We're crying out loud. We have broken it. So apparently at lower revs the blades were doing alright. As in they weren't getting... But once we gave it a bit of throttle... I mean, yes, water does have a cooling effect, but it is a bad lubricant. Which resulted in... What's up? Has it gotten really hot? I mean, obviously the belt got warm, but this should be cool. Oh wait, it's actually pretty hot. Could it be because of the pulley? No. That does not appear to be the case. 
Yeah, so the pump failed due to friction and heat. But then again, it was able to last for quite a long time. At idle, I am sure it would have lasted long enough to clean five, six, seven cars without anything horrible happening to it. We started experiencing issues as soon as we brought the revs up. That said, we were able to wash this car quite effectively. We were able to get most of the dirt off. It looks pretty nice. It's quite sharp. I guess you can compare it to... One of those washers that supposedly works well, I mean, perhaps they do, I am referring to the ones you stick into your cigarette lighter. This gives you a similar effect, except with this you don't need a power outlet. Though you are going to need an entire car, with an internal combustion engine to power the whole thing. And that's all I got for you fellows. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.